from Pecos, Texas, Blackheart. Who cares? Set to go against Butch Blackheart here in the GWF. There you see the branding iron with the double B. You know what that stands for, don't you? Scott Anthony, along with homeboy Johnson and my close friend, Mr. Stuff, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Thank you, Mr. Throb. Uh, who's this idiot rep? That's John Keaton. Yes, so. Well, Ooh. apparently, Butch Blackheart not wanting to enter the ring while Black Bart in control uh, of he's, the he's, he's wielding a foreign object, obviously. Actually, it's a domestic object because he bought it in Pecos. But has he ever found Stan Hansen? <laughs> That's an inside That's joke. My question. An inside joke only me and Eddie get. Not for you fans at home or the faint of heart. I guess if Stan Hansen was anywhere, he'd be at the Global though, huh? Hey! Are you sure you don't want to go home with me? Why do the people like Black Bart? Well, Black he's, Bart. He's a beer guzzling, tobacco chewing, bad man. Ew, why would they like him well, when they, they could like someone exceptional like myself? He believes in law and order, much like Wild Bill Irwin. As a matter of fact, came to the aid of Wild Bill Irwin not too long ago. More importantly, why would anyone come to the aid of Wild Bill Irwin? Missing with a clothesline and the cross body block by Butch Blackheart. One of the dogs I wore. Arr, 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 arr. I don't have a hard problem with these names during this match. I'll tell you that right now. Butch Blackheart and Black Barthart. No, Black Bart. Yeah, but and Black him. Bart should change his name yeah. to that. Yeah, Black Barthart. It'd be Butch Blackheart versus Black Barthart. I like it, Mr. Throb. Oh, thank you, Mr. Stuff. <laughs> Collar and elbow. Black Bart with a clean break. Oh! Oh, yeah, that was clean. Oh, boy. He broke right away. Step back 20 paces. One of the cleanest breaks I've seen all day. Yeah, right, sure, babe. The whip into the rope also by Butch Blackheart. One more time, Blackheart able to get the advantage and gets him with a clothesline. Oh, Craig and Mr. Throb. You know, Black Bart used to be with Mr. Akbar also in the past. Really? And I just had this thought. One man gang is here, right? All right. Just thinking, what would happen if you put Black Bart, Black Bart in the ring with one man gang? And we had a match. Something we could very well see. They used to be friends, or are friends, or were friends. And let's see used happens. to be friends, now they're foes. Ask me why, man. No one knows. Maybe jealousy between you and me. Could be the thing. Could be for money. I'm all for mine, and I don't really care. Plus, the spotlight Scott Anthony don't share. I'm the headliner of this show. Johnson, you're just a kid, and you need to grow. Thank you. Butch Blackheart sent out of the ring by Black Bart as John Keaton. Warning Black Bart, who, although he may be liked by the fans, has not changed his tactics at all. A hideous, vicious rule breaker. And very vicious. Rule breaker. A lot of it. There's more rule breaking in this match than you can shake a stick at. Hey, Johnson, I just got on my headset. You got a phone call to go. What? There's a phone call for you. I think it's Scott Hudson. He's in the line. You better go uh, take Scott that call. Scott Hudson wouldn't bother me now. Yeah, hey, it's important. You better take the call. Give Eddie your mic. Give Eddie your mic. I'll go find out what it is. <laughs> what a buffoon. You got rid of him. Yeah, about time. Man, he's ruining the show. Now it's me and you, Eddie. Let's talk about this match. Now back to action. Live action. Yes. The kind of action I like to see, by me golly. Me too. You know, Johnson's out here. He's the most biased official I've ever seen. I think he's in cahoots with James Beard, too. Sure. He thinks he knows everything about wrestling. Doesn't know a single thing. Uh, but he tells all the girls that. Yeah, he tries to. Doesn't That's work, though, because they know better. Me and you tell them how it is, right, Stuff? Exactly. Look at that. Black Bart, a vicious rule breaker. Hey, what's Johnson doing coming back already? There was no phone call. Yeah. Sure, sure there was. Uh, he must have hung up. Hey, yeah, connection probably. <laughs> Good stuff. 
stuff. In fact, I'm so excited. I'm going to go back so I can watch it in the monitor. And I'm going to get ready for my match against Chaz. It's the main event. And I got to look pretty. I make sure my hair is all done up right. Take over for me, Mr. Stuff. Rob, and good luck. Well, needing some luck here, Butch Blackheart. I've been very impressed with you lately, Craig, especially keeping these names straight during this match. Just after practice, say Troy Boat a few times. You've really come a long way since the time I've known you. I just want you to know that very sincerely from my heart. Thank you. <coughs> really? What were you all talking about while I was gone? I that? was telling Scotty what a great commentator you are and how you know everything about wrestling. And you listen, anytime I've got a match and anytime you see any mistakes I make, please let me I want to do better. Just like Black Bart there. He wishes he could do that suplex a little bit better. Black Bart apparently doing the suplex well enough to put a hurting on Butch Blackheart. Stuck his tongue out of the camera like that. Bad. The whip into the rope, and Blackheart gets a boot up, delivers a shot to the back of the head. I'm telling you, I like to see him in one man gang in the ring. You can't get Bart off his feet, you can't get Gang off his feet. Side suplex, wow. no, backbreaker. backbreaker. Slam dunk goes to Black Bart. To the ropes, comes down across the chest. One, two, Gentlemen, the winner of the match, Black Bar. Black Bar, impressive against Butch Blackheart.